Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Craig Man. Hi everybody, uh, what we're going to do this time through is we're going to look at the 3D Universe Tune Generation model. And uh, this is a very cool model. It's probably it's my favorite model right now. Uh, it's very versatile. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, it's round. It catches light well. It's a very well done model. It was thought out very well. And let me let me kind of give you a tour of what uh, what this guy can do. Now, if you click on the base figure right here and bring this down you'll notice let's lose some of this because we're not going to use any of that uh, you have three morph uh, categories you got body shape hand poses and body poses body shape is what you think it would be it would have the figure height uh, age morphs and you see when you do the age morphs there's there's a little bit of tension right there I'm, I'm gonna give you a little tip on how to uh, avoid that bring this back to zero zero pal and uh, you can do head size see how little you can make the head or how big there's mr. hand and uh, do hand sizes and I'm a Don Martin fan so uh, I uh, like to do the big feet not too big but enough to kind of make his feet bigger uh, you can make him a girl see how it turns into a girl and uh, yeah and then you can go on from there it's a very very cool figure oh, what I do oh, just take that off and uh, there's your body shape and then you got your hand poses which is very cool check this out now keep an eye on the hands uh, you want to do both hands holding something you just do the hand poses it does them both at the same time and that may be or not be what you want but you can change that individually. Make a hand claw, and then take the hand claw off this one, and there you go. You can make it do a completely different hand. Well, not, that's not completely different. Do the sweet hand pose. But here is the coolest part about this. Uh, the coolest part about I don't know what I do. Oh, there we go. Uh, the coolest part about this is uh, is the third category, and that's the body poses. You can do entire poses or entire partial poses. See that? And you have a you have practically have something all made up already. See how that is? And look at that. See, there's not a crease in there that's not supposed to be there. I, I like this model a lot. Now, it doesn't just have that. It has your basic, uh, let's go ahead and zero the figure, or zero the pose. Actually, when you zero the pose, it doesn't really do anything if you've done the full body poses. So let's go ahead and zero the figure. Kapow, there we go. And it takes a minute, but it, it goes right back to where it needs to be. Uh, the body poses are very cool, uh, but it also has head poses and morphs. You can do eye posing. Oh, set the pupils out if you've done anything, any kind of modeling uh, things with your eyes or on your face, and see how it does meets in the middle and then slides over. It's very cool, uh, and up and down both of them at the same time this is a, this is what I like about this a lot of your posing stuff just kinda gets cut in half and you can get your head size here just where you ha just like in your body uh, poses you can make you can do modifications on the uh, on him see that you can just keep on going and I have I have a couple of projects I'm gonna be doing with this so uh, keep an eye out for those and you got expressions see how it, you can blink the eyes at the same time or you can make him just a little bit disheveled looking make his eyes wide 
or make them sleepy. Let's get them. Uh, what else can you do? You do a little bit of a worried, and and slight modifications in one one thing or the other are going to give your your uh, model some character. But that's not all. Now I got the I got the 3D Universe Toon Generation pack, the family pack, and uh, with that came an ultra outfit. This thing is very cool as well. If I can find. There we go. Forgot to, I collapsed everything. Now see how see how uh, he has pants and a shirt there. With the ultra outfit, you can do some. You can do the body shape just like. Well, actually, you can do the body shape via your. You can't. Nothing happens here if you do this. But uh, if you put it, if you apply that shape to your figure. Oh, let's bring this up. If you apply that shape to your figure. See how the the uh, clothing goes right along with it. Isn't that cool? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. Um, let's see. What else can we do with it? Uh, you can't do anything in the body shape. Let's just collapse that. But the style morphs, uh, that is something. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like uh, coming out. Now, they thought about... They they did this is a really well thought out model and, and accessories, but there are a couple of times where you run into uh, different shading, and uh, that can be fixed. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you a very cool trick that that is going to help you out in this a lot. But before I do that, I'm just going to take you through a couple of things. You can there are uh, style morphs morphs for your clothing. See that? You just made a short sleeve shirt. Let's lose the. Lose the collar. Oh, actually, these are ones you can't mix up. You gotta pretty much do what you, what you want to do with them. See that sleeve quarter? But it's not just that. You also have uh, long pants. You got flares for the legs. Capri pants. You can put cuffs on the legs. See that? There are a lot of cool things, and and this came with a, a few different things. Uh, you got zombie pants because you can do make your guy into a zombie. Uh, you got an ultra top that is just similar to the ultra outfit. That's what this is. This is the ultra outfit, and uh, ultra pants, and they each have their own individual morph sets. Uh, you got your track suit, vampire suit, all that fun stuff. A little superhero outfit that I'm going to be using for my uh, avatar. Socks, shoes, skirts. A bow tie, uh, you got accessories, cane, hat, mask, cape, cape, uh, a rabbit. This is you had to download this separately, but this this is something you can put in there too. Morphing glasses, which are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. One of the downsides, and I I really really dig this model, but one of the downsides of this is. Uh, you have to deal with the uh, hair issues. Let's go ahead and give him politician hair. Just drop it in there. It'll take a second to load up. And it looks oh, it looks good on there. See? It looks looks good. Let's render it. Woo, look how that renders. It looks like it's going right into his head. That must be hair. But if you start posing your guy. Oh, come on, baby. Click out, click back in. You start posing your guy, your hair starts to come off. Bummer. The reason for this is uh, it comes in as a it comes in as a uh, it comes in as a uh, figure. So what you can do is you can uh, go to objects. Let's go ahead and lose all this. Actually, uh, just use Carrera hair. I'm, I'm, I don't want to make this video too long, but uh, the thing is, go into your go into your geometries, and the geometries for these things are down here. You're not going to be able to do the morphs on them, but you will be able to apply it to the head, 
have your head parent it as be the parent to the hair and then you can just shade it via your shaders now uh, speaking of shaders let me let me show you a little something here you have a whole buttload of shaders and a lot of them are exactly the same now remember on this thing right here how the the dark area uh, it it really started making me nuts and I I uh, really hadn't used this a whole lot but all these little areas right here are your shirt let's go ahead and click this copy and then find all the ones that are just supposed to be that but not paste paste okay now that you have all your um, now that you have all your textures the way you, that you want them they should all just be uh, they should all be right now check this out uh, oh I'm sorry there's one other thing I need to do let's get eye pupils and just change this slightly all right now everything is the way you want it you want to see something that is going to make your life a lot simpler check this out let's go into file or no let's go to consolidate duplicate shaders if you've ever if you've not ever used this this is a very cool trick keep an eye on the right side of your screen abracadabra kapow look at that and now all the all the shaders that were exactly the same have turned into one shader and apparently uh, this was not exactly the same as this that's all right the ones that didn't fall into the line you just go over there do the same thing again there you go and see how much easier this is now you can take your skin color if you want and everything is uniform how cool is that I mean not the color but everything that that was the same and you notice I had to change the irises because the irises were the same color as the skin basically and now the irises are are that color whatever I changed it to so yeah the 3d universe tune generation figure is very cool if you haven't sprung for it yet uh, if you're a tune if you're a fan of tune figures and you haven't done this yet check it out uh, they have free versions of it uh, one's uh, Billy and the other ones you know what go to 3d universe's site look in the free stuff they got tons of it by the way and uh, it's really really good so um, yeah that's your 3d universe tune generation figure and this is this can this concludes my test of my brand new system I got uh, a brand new system my other system went down and uh, uh, so I'm going to be doing more of these, and and these, yeah, I'm I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, freestyling and testing. So uh, yeah, be prepared for that. I want to thank everybody for hanging on and continuing to to subscribe, even though uh, you know I haven't been uh, I haven't been up. <laughs> anyway, uh, there you go. That's your 3D Universe Tune Generation figure, and that's it for this time. I'm Crite Man. I'll talk to you again later. Bye.